Well, good morning. Just a few minutes before the top of the hour. Here's a look at the stories making news today. The La Crescent Animal Rescue posted that the rescue may be forced to leave its current building on Chestnut Street. According to the post, the Animal Rescue believes the city will dissolve the partnership with them due to a budget deficit. Without a space, the organization says they will no longer be able to care for any cats and dogs impounded by police. Now, this is a developing story. You can read that full post at LaCrescentAnimalRescue.com. With fall migration season underway, more ducks, geese, and other waterfowl are stopping by our area. That's why wildlife officials are setting up waterfowl avoidance areas in places like Goose Island and Lake Onalaska. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is asking you to slow down during in these marked areas or avoid them altogether. The City of La Crosse takes another step toward recognizing the visually impaired and this morning the Harry J. Olson Senior Center will host a coffee connection event for the blind and visually impaired. That takes place today at 11 a.m. Over to our forecast now. So Kyle, how are those conditions shaping up on our Friday the 13th? Still a little bit soggy out there. So we do have some rain to kick off our day today. We'll see more of those showers likely through our mid afternoon. 52 degrees for our temperature right now in La Crosse or 52 degrees, excuse me, for our forecast high temperature for lacrosse day. Those temps really not going to go anywhere from what they're at now. That's going to be thanks to a lot of these winds and those few showers that we'll be seeing. 47 degrees for our forecast lows tonight will be rainy and cool winds we out of the northeast about 10 to 20 miles per hour gusting towards 30 miles per hour and 55 degrees for tomorrow. Slight chances of rain still going to be breezy, but then we're going to see some much drier conditions by the time we head towards Sunday. So the back end of our weekend looking like our most promising day for Sunday and then we'll see those temperatures still in the 50s for Monday, Tuesday, low 60s return by Wednesday. And as we head into the later portions for next week, we're going to be seeing some slight chances of rain returning. Those come on by as we head into Thursday.